Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a brown eye tutorial in Photoshop. And what I noticed um, was that you can basically take about any eye color and change it in Photoshop by simply using image adjustment to saturation. You can go from green to blue to yellow to pink to any kind of color, you know, from the realistic to the weird. But what's really hard to do using that method is a brown eye. So, I figured I'll draw a brown eye and offer it as stock on my website, but also make a tutorial of it. So, in case you don't want to use stock and you want to draw it yourself, you can do that. So, what you want to first do is start off with a large blank white document. Right now I'm working at 555 by 555 pixels. Now, you want to start large because the larger you're working, at the more detail you can include which your end product will be more realistic than say working on a small scale first you want to choose just your pure black and a hard round brush at a relatively large pixel size right I'm doing 484 normal mode 100 percent opacity and you can make this a new layer background. If you make this a new layer, I can show you a cool trick at the end that I'll keep as a secret until the end. <laughs> so just put your circle down and then make a new layer. Go to your color palette and choose right in between the red and the orange. And then towards the bottom, a nice rich, dark, deep brown. And go back and choose a soft round brush at a smaller size, about 37, still 100% opacity, and just go in and start filling in that circle. Now if you've ever looked at an eye up close, you've probably realized that it has a black ring around it most of the time. But it isn't a perfect circular ring. It has, you know, ups and downs in the colored part sort of they sort of seep into each other so this method of filling in the circle will give that effect of a realistic eye and just go all the way around make sure it's colored in nicely and it's up to you how much black you want to have. You don't want to have too much or it probably won't look as realistic. But I think this looks pretty good for now. Now you want to make a new layer. Go back to your color palette and just choose a slightly lighter brown. And all you do is just go up a little from your previous selection to do that. Make your brush a tiny bit smaller. And do the same thing. Just fill that in from the center out and make it a bit smaller than your previous layer it doesn't have to be perfectly you know it can go in like that if you want perfectly fine and one more layer just a slightly lighter brown and There you go. Now what you want to do is make a new layer, go back to your black, go back to your hard round brush, relatively large size. I tend to choose a large pupil because my pupils are always dilated for some reason. And so they're always quite large. And I, I find that looks nice personally. Some people like smaller pupils, but it's really up to you. And just write in the center image, lay down. If it's not perfectly centered, it's an easy fix. Just click this and move it over using the arrows on your keyboard until you got it about center. Then go back to your mouth, I mean brush, sorry. Pick a soft round, small brush, and just lightly go around the edge of that circle because if you've ever looked at the pupil of your eye, it's not hard edge, it's, it's sort of blends and burns into the colored part of your eye so this is more realistic 
can even reduce the opacity a little and just go a little farther in which is also very realistic okay now what you want to do is go underneath this pupil layer by clicking on layer 4 and then new layer down at the bottom now this is where we're going to go into the details and the striations and it might look weird and a little scary at first but trust me it's going to work out beautifully so go to still have your soft round selected go to your smallest size 100% opacity now click on this and choose shape dynamics scattering texture noise protect texture and if smoothing is checked uncheck that then still with the black just go around the eye and add lines this will give your eye some really nice detail. And you want a couple long and short strokes. Then just erase that if you have one of those or if you're a little more careful than I am you probably won't have it. And then what you want to do is just bring down that opacity level on that layer. I'm going to try about 46 for now. And the reason why we didn't just choose a lighter opacity with the brush tools because we don't want to fiddle around with that trying to find what's going to look right when we could just fix it in layers. I'll make a new layer, go into your color palette, and in between the gold or orange and the yellow, just choose a nice rich yellow. Not a very bright garish yellow, but go in still with those same settings on your brush and do the same thing some lines through the eye and the reason like I said we did this under the pupil is so that we don't have any runoff into the pupil that we then have to try and you know erase you could just easily do it under the pupil layer and then there's no worry about it going in and then once again decrease the opacity on that layer, about 39. New layer. Now with that same color, go back to your brush and make it a little larger. And just with a 65% opacity right around the iris. Put some highlight in. And decrease the opacity on that, of course. We'll try 29 right now. Now, this final thing that you can or you don't have to do is go down to your red. Make a nice deep, rich red. Color. 100% opacity. New layer. And in that deep, rich brown, just add some red highlights. Because a lot of brown eyes have red highlights. But you don't have to do this. But you can. And decrease the opacity of that down to about 33 and you might want to put that under your striation layers there we go just move this around and then what you want to do above the pupil layer is add a reflection on the eye. So now you can choose maybe in a very light yellow or a white a large round brush normal about 34 opacity and just come in right over the black and the colored part of the eye and make your first application then make your brush slightly smaller I think I'm going to uncheck these settings and make another pass and one more just for good measure slightly smaller just keep repeating that making it slightly smaller each time I'm 
until you have a nice reflection. I'm going to go and erase. A little bit around the edges. And there you go. And you can make a second reflection at the bottom of the eye if you'd like. Some people say this has the most realistic look. But it's not for everyone. And then you just zoom out there you have a pretty realistic looking eye if anything's too bright you can just decrease the opacity and there you go brown eye tutorial and you can get this tutorial or piece of stock on my website crownoflaurelstock.deviantart.com or visit my art gallery graphicqueen91.deviantart.com and for that final little trick I was going to show you is go to your background layer click new layer white in your color palette hard round brush very large, larger than the black, 100% opacity, and just go and make a circle right underneath. And what you see now is you have a white behind your eye that you can use as your actual eye in a photo. You'd have to add, you know, some red veins and whatnot, and you might want to make it not completely white, you know, might want to be off-white. But this is also useful. Thanks for watching.